minutes ago, officials in the city of South Fulton wrapped up a closed door meeting to try to work out a major rift over city hiring. Now, the new city needs to hire a city manager and a police chief, though there seems to be a disagreement over exactly what should happen first. Well, Fox 5's Claire Sims is live in Fulton County, and Claire, they were in executive session for about two hours today. Yeah, just before 5.30, the mayor and city council came out of that executive session and tried to address some of what they say is misinformation in the community about the status of the hiring of those critical positions. Take a look. This afternoon, City of South Fulton Mayor Bill Edwards and members of the city council called a special emergency meeting to discuss city personnel issues. After that closed-door meeting, they spoke very briefly to the public gathered at the South Fulton County Government Services Center and said that reports about the city hiring and firing a police chief this week were not quite right. Now, according to a news release by City Councilwoman Carmelita Gums today, the mayor informed city council members yesterday that he had hired a chief of police despite the fact that council members wanted to hire a city manager first. Councilwoman Gums believes that the city manager should be in charge of hiring a police chief and not the mayor. But Mayor Edwards says he misspoke when he said that he had hired someone for the chief of police position. City council members stood as one today as they spoke to the media after that executive session. Despite the inaccuracies in the news story that aired on yesterday, contrary to what was reported, there was no action taken by this city council to hire or fire a police chief. As noted at our session on yesterday, we are going to leave that decision to the city manager once a permanent city manager is named. That is our position. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, neither the mayor nor the councilwoman wanted to elaborate on exactly what happened here and where that miscommunication may have come from, but this is a developing story. We'll try to get more information for you tonight for Fox 5 News at 10. We are live in Fulton County. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Claire, thank you.